potential for fail, but I actually haven't failed at anything. I've learned a lot on this journey and I wanted to share it with you. This video is really long overdue. So I want to tell you why I'm not going to be doing raw till four in the traditional sense of uh, the fruit all day and then cooked food at night. It may work for a lot of people and I think that's great if it's working for you. For me, I had a lot of adverse effects with it and it's not, I'm not, it's not all about being thin, you know, but it, I, I'm very uncomfortable to gain as much weight as I did. Of course, every woman wants to lose five pounds and I went into it with hopes that that might happen, but instead I gained 10 pounds. So being 15 pounds above where I feel comfortable was really very, very uncomfortable. But besides all that, there's a few other reasons. Let's start with the positives. It made me not afraid of fruit. I stopped being afraid of fruit. I really was afraid to eat fruit, which is kind of ridiculous. It's something that nature has made. Yes, it has a lot of sugar in it, sure, in our bodies, but our bodies do need that sugar. Um, and can really utilize that sugar, especially, especially if we're active. So now I'm not afraid to eat fruit, and I do plan on eating some fruit. Uh, I want to eat um, fruit that's in season where I live, and all this bananas and tropical fruit and mangoes and papayas and all this really great high sugar fruit is fabulous if you live in an area where it grows from the trees. I've been in Puerto Rico for the last few weeks, and yeah, I've been eating coconuts and mangoes and papayas almost every single day, but the difference is I am finding papayas that have fallen freshly fallen from the trees. They're very, very ripe, perfectly ripe actually, the way that you would want them. I can't guarantee that what I'm buying at a store in New York City is really ripe. It might be ripe by the time it gets to me, but it really should be tree ripened for it to be at its peak and for it to have the accessibility of nutrients that my body needs to use from that. So that's what I have to say about the tropical fruit. If I were in an environment that has a lot of tropical fruit, then I will eat a little bit of tropical fruit and that's fine. Next. Okay, bananas. Let's talk about bananas. I love bananas, but I got a little confession to make. I'm allergic to bananas. Well, not really allergic, but food sensitive. I got some blood work done and it's a really big trigger for me. So yeah, no kidding. I'm gonna get really bloated and have some digestive discomfort and gain weight and feel lethargic and feel overfull if I eat bananas. My body just cannot digest them. Unfortunately, it's not something that I can handle. So I'm not gonna really be doing those banana smoothies anymore, but I, I will have some fruit. I'm fine with that. I'll have a little bit of fruit, but not like I was doing. The main reason that I decided to start traveling and go to Hippocrates Health Institute and then the Ann Wigmore Institute was because I wanted to just make sure that um, this was gonna be okay for me. And I wanted to check my blood work out and see uh, what the few months of it had done for me. I did ask some of the people at uh, Hippocrates, particularly Anna Maria Clement, who I really respect her life work and how many people that she's really helped to heal from life-threatening diseases. And I asked her, I said, come on, woman to woman here. I'm not sick. I don't have cancer. I don't have diabetes. I'm not trying to heal from anything. I don't eat meat, so I'm not overly acidic. Like, can I have fruit? Come on. And she said, yes. I could have some fruit, A, if it was from the trees, and I went and picked that from the trees. She said that she sees when people who've been doing it a long time, who start getting into their 40s and 50s, who've been eating fruit for a long time, they have a lot of acidity in their body. Um, their triglycerides are high. My, my triglycerides were high. So the more and more that I meditated on this, thought about it, really contemplated, am I doing what's right for my body, the more that I discovered that I feel best when I eat in balance. Meaning that, okay, sure, I can have a little bit of fruit, but sitting down and having like 16 mangoes or, or, or you know, 20 bananas, well, I never did that, but like even seven bananas, that's completely out of balance for me. I know that it, there's this whole thing about calorie deprivation, starvation, and I had a lot of weird anxiety around that because I didn't want to go back into this sort of like low calorie deprivation, starvation mode that maybe kind of tripped up my metabolism before. But remember this, it's not necessarily the amount of calories that you eat, it's more about the nutrients, the nutrient density that's in that food. If you are getting your nutritional needs met naturally and you're chewing really well and you're digesting well, you're gonna find that you need a little bit, or I, I'm gonna speak for myself, I need a little bit less food 
than perhaps the average person. But I've been very, very careful with this whole six week cleanse that I've been on between Hippocrates Health Institute and the Ann Wigmore Institute to make sure that I eat enough calories. I've been making sure that I eat generous portions of vegetables, that I chew really well. If I'm feeling hungry, to make sure that I get a snack. Not to go into this mode where I'm like, oh, I'm cleansing, I, I can't eat that. Or I've just been very, very careful. The first time that I went to Hippocrates, which was a couple of years ago, I um, felt amazing. I dropped like 10 pounds in the three weeks that I was there. I felt like after that I was kind of eating such a little amount of calories that it tripped up my metabolism and I gained weight. So in this case, over the last, um, I guess, six weeks, I've probably only let go of like eight pounds, which over six weeks, not three. So that's half as slow. Does that make sense? Half as slow. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what I think it really was? I think I had so much inflammation. I had a lot of inflammation, emotional inflammation, and really even inflammation from all that fruit that I, my body was having such a hard time digesting. Um, there was just kind of a lot going on. So I feel like what I've done is I've cleansed out the inflammation, I've cleansed my colon, I've done a lot of colonics and uh, wheatgrass implants and water enemas. And that. So I'm feeling a lot more cleaned out inside. Anyway, I just wanted to share with you that wherever you are in your journey, please listen to your body. If you feel like eating a lot of ton of fruit, then go for it, eat a lot of fruit, enjoy it. But if you start getting adverse effects like I did with all the inflamed, I mean, my gut was so inflamed. I just felt so, like nothing fit. I, everything feels better. I can just see the leanness in my face and just, and that's really detoxing inflammation and detoxing emotionally. Listen to your body try to be more balanced with what you're doing and um, I'm here to help so if you really if you're concerned or you're having any issues um, please ask me ask in the comments I'll do videos on it um, shoot me an email Christine at completemindandbody.com I really am here to help you along your journey and I'm so grateful that you're here watching me go through my own journey so that I could experiment on my own body uh, to see what this whole raw till four thing really is about stay tuned for new videos on food prep I've got lots of fun recipes that I've been learning over the last few weeks and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of the day. <laughs>